I've been busy in the front garden today. It's an absolutely gorgeous day. It's the 1st of October, so white rabbits. Now, what I've done is I've taken one of the cordon style trees. Uh, that's a plum. I think it's a Mirabelle plum. Put it in that big container and stood it in that border in front of the hedge. And then I had a brain wave and I thought, you know, the bottle brush that for a week is pretty and for the rest of the time is a damn nuisance. Cut it all down. So I've chopped that all down this morning. And Tony and I have just planted that. Now that is an apple called Champion. I've got some really nice little labels, not labels, plant things from Wilkinson's. Galvanised metal. I think they're up £2.50 in the sale for five. So that's my apple Champion. Runner beans, because everybody has runner beans in the front garden, don't they? Now that one's a duo pair. I think there's conference and there's concord on that. And then if I can do it without getting you blinded by the sun, let's go this way. We've also planted, now you're not going to like the angle of the sun here, I'm afraid, a golden delicious. Look at that one. And I'm going to keep them all to about maybe six foot, keep them all fairly in tight. And we now have a mini fruit orchard, so let me step back a bit. There we go, the front garden fruit orchard. And the there's a pear there. Now that's a conference in the tub there. And there's a Cox's apple. And I think the one across there is called L-Star. I'm going to put them into the back garden. So we're going to have plenty of fruit next year. We've had plenty of fruit this year, actually. But next year, we're going to have even more. Look at that. Is it not far better to have something you can eat in your garden? It's amongst the roses. The rose smells gorgeous. But look, and that Leicestria. Look at that. Apparently, you can eat the berries off that. So once, I don't know, the one at the back's got loads on it. Yes, actually, I can see some on that one. I'm going to give them a try. If I'm not keen, that can get sold at the car boot next year. I'm only keeping things in my garden that are either beautiful or edible. And it's the best way to garden, in my opinion.